What's going on, Guardians? Briar Rabbit here. Today, we're going to take a look at the Solstice of Heroes event. This is a new event. It started today on, what is it, July 31st, and it goes to August 28th. And it's going to give us a chance to kind of revisit some of our triumphs from year one and get some cool new loot as well. To get started here, once you land in the tower, you'll notice there's a lot of confetti and some new decorations in the tower. You're going to run over to this statue the Statue of Heroes, and the first time you do this, it's actually going to transport you to another part of the tower, and you go to see Ikora, and she'll get you started story-wise. Uh, but once you've completed the first mission that she sends you on, you'll see that she gives you a full set of armor. It's all this green armor, very similar to the stuff that we got when we first came. So here's the deal with this armor. The armor can be leveled up by completing basically tasks. So you can see on this helmet, I've completed the mission that is uh, kind of required. That's the the Sparks Redux mission. Then you got to collect solar orbs on Earth and defeat guardians in the Crucible. Once you do those three tasks, then this armor will be upgraded. That next level of armor can then be upgraded again to very powerful armor. So each one of these has a different set of tasks. So you'll have to go through each of these tasks to upgrade them, upgrade them again, and finally get the final armor. Now, uh, you will be able to do this on all three characters, and I believe that you have to actually go through uh, all five missions on each of the characters. What do I mean by all five missions? Well, basically, around the tower, these are these kind of stone kiosks, and to start a mission at any of them, you just walk up to it and activate the mission. There's five of them in total. Uh, the fifth one is back here, and there's a couple more on the sides here. So you'll have to do all of these missions to complete the task for your armor. Now, for the Triumphs themselves, these are actually sold by this statue. A very good merchant. Got more... Got more... Uh Got more personality than Tess Everest, though, am I right? So all your triumphs are basically sitting right here, and you basically just click on each one of them to get them into your inventory, and once they're in your inventory, you can actually track them. Uh, any of them that you completed, you can actually just go ahead and complete now, and you'll make some, you'll make some progress toward your moments of triumph. Uh, any of them that you haven't completed, you can see that it gives you progress toward how far you've gone. So, for instance, I've got 11 more elemental orbs to pick up. I've got one more redux mission to finish. Uh, i got to reach rank 50 in Season 3 with uh, the Vanguard. Uh, so all of these are basically uh, just milestones for you to complete to rank up in this moment of triumph. So it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty easy to do, but I figured I'd make a quick video as well. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. I think uh, the last thing we're going to do is go and turn in one of these Eververse uh, packages. You do get one of these packages. Every time you get a bright Engram or a prototype Engram right now, you also get a Solstice Engram, which is pretty nice. So we're going to see what we got. Uh, the sassy taunt. The, the sassy taunt. I'm, I'm sure that's pretty good. Let's take a look at it. Sassy. Sassy taunt. That's that's very sassy. It's incredibly sassy. I gotta say, though, I'm a pretty big fan of this festival dance one. It is pretty dope. So that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.